Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be straightening out some bent pins on this AMD CPU. And so what I'll be using to achieve this is a mechanical pencil here. Uh, not really my first choice, but this was all that I had laying around. I would much rather have uh, the metal tip uh, mechanical pencils uh, where it has the lead coming out of. Uh, but nowadays, this is pretty much um, all that you get in terms of lead pencils, cheap lead pencils, I guess. Uh, so hopefully it'll be enough, uh, basically because you want to be able to um, get in over the uh, pin without touching other pins or possibly even bending and damaging other pins around it. Uh, so basically this particular CPU has quite a few bent pins on here and hopefully I'll be able to uh, straighten them out. And be sure to watch the end of this video because I got to talk about some disclaimers and things. All right. So here we go. All right, so you want to go straight down into the pin, right? And you kind of want to just bend the opposite way a little bit. Just to check. Right? And so uh, now that one is uh, pretty straight, straight as it can be. Then same thing with this other one here. Right, and uh, you really want to try to get this done in one shot. And not have to do this back and forth, back and forth bending because it will snap off. Right, moving on to the next one. This one here is a little bit bent. And you want to just ever so slightly nudge it. It requires a lot of concentration. So uh, no Red Bulls, no two cups of coffee. You want to have some steady, steady hands. All right. Light some candles, get some incense going, breathe, concentrate, focus. All right, that's pretty much straight there. Now for the last round. Huh. It's very deceiving sometimes to see which one's actually bent. If it's this one that's bent, on camera it looks like this one's bent, but up close kind of looks like this one's bent, but I'm going to go with what the camera sees. It's a lot better than my eyes. This one's a little tricky because you got to bend it back in towards other pins. This one has to come out a little. All right, so for the most part, it, it all looks pretty straight. And that's all I can see for now. So you might wonder how the heck did uh, these pins get bent? Well, I'm not sure exactly, but from signs of the actual CPU itself on the other side here, uh, there's like little nicks and dings. So for example, there's one really bad one right here. Let me focus this right here. There's a, a little nick right here, as well as here, damage to it. So it looks like it was dropped. There's also a little, 
Looks like a little nick right here. PCB is a little scratched, dinged up there, as well as this side. So whoever had this prior was not really careful with it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and try to plug this in to the socket and we'll see hopefully it was uh, successful. All right, so now we're going to attempt to install the CPU. Hopefully the pins are straight enough for it to just drop in. You may experience some resistance as I am here. It's not falling into place exactly. Somewhere around on this side here, the pins are still bent because this side went in all the way just fine, but this side did not. And if you gently just kind of ease it into there, a little bit it'll straighten out the pins even more if there's too much of a resistance uh, try to straighten it out even more as much as you can before doing this uh, but it looks like it was able to go in completely and so we can just go ahead and close and as long as I don't touch it and uh, keep installing or uninstalling this CPU for the most part it should be fine there's no guarantees that it's going to be perfect uh, once again, always um, be cautious, do your research. If uh, you end up breaking your pin using this method, I'm not responsible for that. Uh, as you can see, I've attempted this and it was somewhat successful, uh, but I'll give you an update in the description as to whether or not this booted up and if uh, the tests run okay and if the CPU is uh, good or not. All right, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.